um, can you tell us about Diamond City Life Show and what you all about? And yeah, just, you know, give us some uh, info. Diamond City Life Show. Let me say, uh, okay, we started last year, 2021, August of 2021. Um, me, my man Frank C., uh, my man Javon, and of course Jermaine. It, it started off with uh, this guy named Malcolm, also. I, I'm not going to exclude him because he was our original cameraman. And then, you know, things just. I ain't gonna say it went left, but he decided to do something else, but we ain't let one person stop the show. All right. Respect. So 27 episodes. Mm. We put in some work. Yeah. But from you saying the first you you was there from the beginning when we just did like a rough draft. Right, right. And uh it was chemistry between me and my man Frank. Shout out to my man Frank C. You know, he do the uh, promotions down barcode. So uh, shout out to my man Frank C. But, you know, um, we had the chemistry and everything. And how uh, me and him got together. For one, we went to the same school. We went to Wilson. A lot of us are high school connected. You know what I'm saying? So we went to Wilson. But, um. It wasn't like he's somebody that I hung out with regularly or anything like that. I just knew he was tapped in until, you know what I'm saying, like a whole nother network. So I, you know, it was like more so like a chess move for real. But mm -hmm. when we got on camera with each other and the chemistry was there, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it wasn't like, it wasn't nobody ego getting in the way of anything, you know what I'm saying? It was just everything was just natural. We just talking the shit between two men, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and it, it became fun, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like podcast for me because we just being nuts. We you know, sitting sipping here, I mean sitting here sipping, smoking. I do that shit at home. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're inviting your your friend down over to your basement, kick back, man. We about to and just shoot the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, like I was saying, like uh, having the interviews was the best part for me because, you know, hearing people tell their stories and uh, just getting a, um, a outlook on different people lives, that, that was interesting. You know what I'm saying? And itself because you, People got stories for days out here, you know what I'm saying? Interesting stories. So it was just a platform for that for different artists. Um, like we had Garvey, the chosen one, um, Don Chu, uh, Black Indian. Like I was saying, we had Dana Dane on there, Stinky Dink on there. So we had some people on there that, you know, that uh, the city know, you know what I'm okay. saying? So Dr. Majid. Dr. Majid, of course. <laughs> Dr. Majid, of course. Um, and you know, that's what we was kind of catering towards getting like the faces people know. And not just that, it's just like, you know, Diamond City life, it's supposed to be like a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just that's why I call it this show. I ain't really like we wasn't trying to just be a podcast, trying to be a show because you, you know, you could perform you if you if you're an artist, you got a song. You could perform right then and there on our show. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's not <clears> like <throat> we could just sit up there, you going to sit up there and tell your story. Nah, you got some, you want to spit something? Spit something. You got something to present? You can present it right there and promote it right then and there. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we just going to just talk about that. Man, if you got something that, you know, you try and put out there, it go to platform. Gotcha. So, <laughs> so yeah, talk to us, brother. First and foremost, I want to give honor to you that you set this up. I think it's... it's magnificent ideas for us all because we win when we're together. Yes. Yep. We lose when we're apart. True. Correct. You know, like they say, a fist is much better when it's balled up. You know what I mean? Yeah. You really can hurt something. Mm -hmm. right? and when your fingers like this, one of them going to get broke. Hello. Right? But to keep it short and simple, uh, I wouldn't be here without my co-host with my original podcast that I still have too, which is called All Over the Place. Right, and I started all over the place in uh, 2020 in the midst of the pand pandemic. When everybody thought it was be a good time to uh, get everybody's attention because everybody's in the house. Yeah. Yeah. And I started with one cell phone, 
and uh, we used to be squeezed in, like we squeezed in there yeah. with one phone, yeah. <laughs> and we went from there, and we grew, and our audience grew. And, you know, I think everything is about consistency, right? It's gonna be some times where you don't want to do it, it might coincide with your schedule, or work, or the kids, or whatever. But it once people are actually waiting for you to come on, you know how important your voice really is. You know what I'm saying? And people kind of like start looking forward to you. You know, when we was young, we used to look forward to the Cosby's or the Simpsons or whatever, you know, mm -hmm. you're running a house with Mark. Mm -hmm. People are like that about podcasts now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They so in tune because everybody wants to hear everybody's voice. And uh, the reason I started a podcast is because I read in 2019 in this business book that podcasts was getting ready to take over. Mm -hmm. Right, they was talking about how podcasts was going to be the thing. Everybody's going to get it, mm -hmm. and all that. And then COVID hit, mm -hmm. so I said, "Oh, this is a good time." Mm -hmm. So if I flop, I don't have to come out. Mm -hmm. Right? You know what I mean? So <laughs> if I flop, I ain't got to worry you about nobody seeing me. You got masks, I can hide. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, I went that way, and uh, that's the way that's the way I went with it, and uh, it, it grew, and 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 I was really happy with this response that I got and oh, that I received from people, man, because you, you know. When you get on these mics and people tuned in, they listen. Yeah. You know, because people got a lot to do. Yeah. They got bills to pay. Mm -hmm. They got side chicks to pay. <laughs> they got wives to pay. You know what I'm saying? People Respect. got stuff to do. You, know you would saying? think he was here earlier. Yeah, more yeah. Than yeah. 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 That was one of the reasons why I called it all over the place, because I wanted to leave a platform where anybody could speak. A child, a grandma. Mm -hmm. I had old people calling in, young people calling. I kind of like didn't want to exclude everybody. But now in this day and time, it's about being inclusive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with everybody. Mm -hmm. We all know about what's going on. Right. So we we, 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 we got to be careful who we exclude, mm -hmm. right? So it, it, let, let everybody have a voice. That's what it's That's about. Right. Giving the voiceless a voice. And uh, right. man, I, once I came here, because I had built a studio at my house. Yeah. Okay. You know? but once I came here, man, I mean, I knew Jermaine all my life. Oh, yeah. And he didn't do nothing besides what I thought he would do, but it was so warm, right? It was, I mean, you know, it was just a place where you really wanted to do. I said, man, I, I shut my studio down. Yeah. I said, I'm going to rap rouse. Yeah. We're going to be on some rap. We're going to turn it down. Yeah. I said, I'm saying, I, I see the video. I said, it could happen, right? Yeah. And then I see Yuri. said, that's my cousin. You know, we were passing. And I didn't mean that. I'm, I seen you start, Joe. I was like, man, this is good. You know what I mean? So, and I'm always for uh, cheering for the next one. Mm -hmm. I think that's important too in our community too. I think we kind of like got away from that. Everybody being happy. I mean, sincerely happy. Yeah, right. yeah it's a difference. You know what I mean? It's a difference between people being happy. Yeah. Or you know, sometimes people think supporting you is just putting money up. Yeah. You know, I, I think it's, it's a little more than that. Yeah, but, but, but I mean, I'll take that though. I mean, I, I... yeah, yeah, we'll take <laughs> that. That's why I said it's a little more.